Hi everyone, my name is PK Su from Hutton's and today I'd like to shoot this video real quick to answer some questions that I've been receiving about key residences, about the potential, how viable it is as the next investment property. A lot of my clients have been asking me about that and I thought of sharing with you some of the information that I have on hand. I have many slides, I'm just going to pick up some of those more important ones and share with you some insights about this location, the potential and you know you can judge for yourself you know whether or not it is something that is suitable for you for your next investment property or even for your next home especially if you're out there looking either for a resale or new launch right now all right so um i'm not going to dive too much into the beauty world area you know um you probably would have known about it already or have read about it you know that the government is spending so much money you know building infrastructure over there building a transportation hub a community hub in fact if you drive around that area you will notice that there's just so much construction going on right there okay so but you know if you think about it that really sets us thinking you know why is the government selecting this location to invest in so much infrastructure development when in the first place you and i know that this area is not really a very heavily populated area or densely populated area all right so to answer that question and to look at this matter a little bit deeper it is always good to look at the map you know what are the surrounding locations and uh, such information all right so if you look at the map uh, which uh, i'm sharing on the screen right now you notice that you know around sunset um, way area uh, along clementy road uh, towards beauty wall area you notice that surprisingly ladies and gentlemen there is still quite a bit of raw land undeveloped land in this prime uh, land location i would say why do i call this prime because this is still in the central region it is next to prime district 10. in fact uh, around king albert park area it is already a king albert park gcb enclave okay so why is there so much land for development you know what is the government's intention to build that inf transportation hub community hub is it because that the government has already in mind to set up the infrastructure first to build it up first so that it has the capacity to serve more residents in future now to serve more residents in future ladies and gentlemen also means that it has plans to develop this area okay set you thinking this area in fact if you notice on the map right there Holland Plain it is something that we have highlighted. What's Holland Plain, you may ask? Okay, now let's take a look at my next slide and I'll tell you more, all right? Okay, New Holland Plain Precinct, uh, which was announced in 2017 uh, by Minister Lawrence Wong. You know, um, you know during this uh, team called Our Neighbourhoods, a look at the future, okay? Now, there are three precincts that were announced Kampong Bugis, Holland Plain, and uh, Bayshore. All right? And it was mentioned that within all these three upcoming precincts, you know, residents will be comfortably within five to ten minutes' walk to one or more MRT stations. Okay, so it is basically, you know, there to, in fact, this, this Holland Plain is already in mind, it's already set up, it's already planned, or it's not something that they're thinking of planning, it's already planned, as you can see from the master plan, all right? If I refer to the master plan back in 2014, and then compare it with master plan 2019, which was rolled out last year, you will notice that, you know, last time in 2014, it is a big chunk of land over there, okay? Uh, basically, you know, zoned as um, residential and subject to detailed planning, all right? And then in 2019, you'll notice that Holland Plain area, it is carved out into parcels of land for residential purpose all right holland plain is already in the pipeline okay and then if you study the area around key residences around this location you will also notice that there are many 
well, at least nine of them, GLS sites, they're potentially uh, for residential usage, for future developments. In fact, there are nine of them, and some of them are actually big parcels of land, if you notice, okay? So that tells us one thing, ladies and gentlemen, which is this location is full of potential, is prime, um, is prime land right there, um, you know, the government has plans. What are the plans? There's something that, you know, let's examine. Well, nothing has been announced yet, really, but, you know, from some facts and telltale signs, you know, it is always to make uh, good to make uh, some logical uh, deduction um, so that, you know, we could think, you know, what could possibly be there. All right. That's, it's quite an interesting topic. So let's, let's continue. Okay. Um, there are some slides which is. Um, I'm going to skip some of them so that we can save time on this video and hope and thanks for actually watching me till now in this video okay now this is one of them okay so if you travel along Clementi Road uh, chances are you will notice that there's this new opening of a wide road okay uh, very near to Maju Camp all right um, you can't go in right now because it's still under construction but this is basically a new road that is being built Okay, which leads to key residences. Okay, so uh, it's right there. Okay, so yep. So uh, with this zoom in, hopefully you can uh, take a closer look. All right. So this new road from Clementi Road uh, will be right there. We'll talk a little bit more about this in a short while. But what's happening is that you know next time residents from the key residences, they will be able, they will be able to access Clementi Road through this road, and it is uh you know from there when you exit into Clementi Road, uh you can actually either turn left. There will be a traffic light next time over there. You can turn left, uh towards Bukit Timah and Beauty World area or turn right towards um uh, along Clementi Road towards Ulu Pandan and Holland Road area. Alright. So there will be some changes to that uh road traffic next time. But this road is pretty important, okay, to serve the residents around the Sunset Way, Brookville, um you know key residences around this precinct. Okay. Now the thing is this, okay, why is there this new road being built now? All right. Don't tell me that for the five, for the next, uh, so for the previous five, ten, twenty years, you know, uh, the residents there don't need a, a road that leads out to Clementi Road. It will save them so much time, right? Why is there a new road being built right now? All right. Is it just because that key residences is being constructed and that's why they're building a new road? Is it solely for the purpose for key residences, residents? It may not be, all right? Let's examine further, okay? Now, now, okay, this is something that, um, it, you know, it's very interesting. All right, Cross Island 9, um, it has, uh, the phase one uh, has already been online and it was announced, you know, um, uh, we will we discuss a little bit more on that, all right? But basically, Cross Island line, if you notice all this, um, uh, purple bubbles, all right. These are the areas that the Cross Island Line is supposed to serve from the east all the way to Jurong Industrial Estate, all right. It's basically linking uh, both ends of the island, east and west, you know, and, and cut across the central uh, Singapore and then uh, link all these places up that are not served by MRT yet. All right, so there are two phases. The phase one has been announced and online already, okay? And um, the phase two has not been announced yet. But if you look carefully, all right, what is happening here is this, okay? It is supposed to serve from Simming to Bukit Timah area, and then it goes through the Clementi area, cuts through West Coast, and then towards Jurong Industrial estate all right so we're going to pay a little bit more attention ladies and gentlemen at that uh, bubble where clementi is mentioned all right so where is this place you know what is this area that is um you know um possibly uh going to uh, come up with um 
a couple of MRT stations around there. All right, let's let's take a closer look and zoom in into this location. Okay, and to show you that this is really um, a correct uh, or, or rather a very close representation of that bubble, you'll notice that you know over here. Okay, you will notice that blue line right there. Okay, that's next to that. Um, let me see if I can just call up my chart here. All right, if you notice, okay, over here, this blue line. Okay, this is let me bring this up a little bit okay hey, let me, technologies right okay let's bring this up okay this is where the downtown line is all right the downtown line stations is represented by the blue line over there okay and something that is um right at the verge of uh, the the circle, the oval, right there, this one, uh, where the word Clementi is. Okay, if you zoom it in, you'll notice that that one basically is the east west line. All right, so I would say that this dotted line right there is a very close representation of that bubble that uh, was kind of pictorially uh, represented in that. Um, uh, schematic that is being announced all right so this community area so where is this area and where's this location and you'll notice that you know it falls very close to where key residences is lying okay cross island line coming could the cross island line be coming to this location well it is already represented by that a purple bubble that's there so chances are you know something is happening around this location ladies and gentlemen something is happening around this location so let's take a closer look okay now cross island line um you know there was some debates about um you know how cross island line is going to you know link through the central catchment area as we all know central catchment area is the biggest plot of um area of um, nature reserve all right um a lot of environmentalists is uh, very concerned about the fact that you know the mrt line would cut through you know would it affect the biodiversity of that region okay so there were there were two schools of thoughts you know initially they were thinking of okay can we cut through the central uh, catchment area or do we have to go through uh, you know, just just uh, route through the Lonnie Road area and make one round to to save on cutting through the catchment area. So after a lot of studies, it was actually announced that you know um, uh, they will just cut through this uh, central catchment area because uh, the tunnel is going to be so deep that it's not going to affect the biodiversity of that uh, catchment area. All right. So the plan has already been made. And you know uh, what will happen is that cross island line will cut through the catchment area uh, towards Bukit Timah. Okay. So, uh, well, for those of you, by the way, who are not aware of what cross island line is, is basically uh, slated to be completed by twenty thirty. Okay. Uh, phase one, phase two is currently you know being under construction already if you might not know all right so because it's all underground so we can't see all right but it has already been uh earmarked uh to complete by 2030 okay so it will bring a lot of convenience for residents along this uh line uh who are not actually served by mrt at this moment this will bring so much convenience to um residents around this area and uh even to real estate around uh the mrt lines as well okay so now why am i spending so much time talking about this cross uh island line because this is really something interesting okay because uh i'm not going to dive too much into this uh civil engineering stuff but basically you know in order for you to go through very deep tunneling or any kind of tunneling like or be it road works or MRT nice, all right. You have really got to do some serious testing of the soil. You know whether or not the soil quality is suitable for that kind of construction. Okay, I'm no civil engineering. I'm no civil engineer, but you know basically, um, um, what they would do is basically they would they would create these boreholes. Okay, uh, for soil investigation. 
Okay. Now, in order to to build or uh, to create these boreholes, you will have to construct you know rig like structures that you see on the second picture from the left. All right, something like a rig that that allows you to actually you know dig all the way into the soil level, uh, dip down into the ground and and extract some of the soil for uh, lab tests. All right, to see the quality of the soil and so on, so on and so forth. All right, so. And then you know after that you know they will mark that location, uh you know with all the LTA uh, signs right there as you can see on the pictures. Okay, so this is the kind of process that you have to go through you know to to really test you know whether or not that site is suitable for MRT construction. All right, basically this slide tells you that. All right, so if we look at okay now this is really interesting guys, if we look at the boreholes map. You know, versus the uh, Cross Island Line Phase One stations, you see that there's a lot of uh, resemblance of, from the sites where they create all these boreholes, and versus the actual uh, MRT stations, uh, Phase One stations that were announced. All right, so for example, okay, let's say we take a look at this uh, Defu uh, area, you see that you know the pink pink uh, areas. This is where the boreholes are. And then you will see that you know when the station is announced, it is really uh, in that area as well. Okay, and then you know similar observations are made over at this um, uh, Algang, okay, around Algang, and you can see that once the station is announced, it is really right there as well. Okay, and then um, where else, you know, you know there are just so many um, representations. Uh, you know, just so similar, so many similarities between the boreholes uh, area and that uh, station areas that you know it is logical to suggest that you know when there are boreholes, uh, especially a lot of them, you know, that's being tested and the soil is being tested, it could be a telltale sign that you know that area or that vicinity could be a future MRT station. All right, it could be. All right, so. Uh, bearing this in mind, okay, let's let's go back to the concept of you know the um, the target of putting eight in ten households within a uh, ten minutes walk to MRT stations. Okay, now let's take a look at the surrounding that we have. Okay, you notice that you know um, within a kilometer radius, which is primarily about ten minutes walk radius. To, from the MRT stations around this region, like King Albert Park, uh, Sixth Avenue, these are all the downtown line stations nearby. And then uh, you have that East West Line, which is Clementi, Dover, and then the Circle Line uh, area as well, uh, which is Holland Village. Uh, you notice that around, if you draw a, a, a circle, a 10, a one kilometer uh, radius uh, circle around the station you see that you know all these areas actually uh, uh fall in line very very nicely you know are serving residents around that vicinity okay now this is not by coincidence it is by planning all right now but what is glaringly obvious is also that in the central area of all these circles uh this area is actually not served by MRT at all, correct? At this moment, all right. At least not within ten minutes walking distance or one kilometer radius. Okay, so now if you look at this um, map a little bit, this schematic map a little bit, you realize that. Okay, um, if you are the government and you are planning for the next uh, MRT station, all right. Uh, where would you plan your station? Okay, now if you notice one thing is that over here to the right hand side of that blank area in the center, uh, those areas are basically the GCB enclaves. All right, GCB enclaves. Uh, let's see, it's right there if you can see properly. All right, so I think it is um, quite logical. To say that you know, um, for residents in GCBs, okay, for residents in GCBs, um, it is fair to say that 
they are wealthy enough that you know some of them probably have multiple cars, and the chances of them, uh, riding on the MRT could be slimmer. They may not even need the MRT stations. So it doesn't make sense for the government, which is um to build, uh, the infrastructure in the GCB enclave. All right. So this logic leaves us to, um, zoom in into the left hand side of that blank space which is around this area so around this area which is basically where key residences lie could this area be the next stop for the mrt station okay well that could be a possibility you know from that cross island line purple bubble that we saw earlier and looking at this logic that could be potentially something that is there all right now let's examine the slides a little bit more okay now if you look at this okay um you see there are always there's a lot of talks about where this cross island line may be cutting through all right so you know basically we all know that it's going to cut through the central catchment area right across and then the next stop is you know is it going to cut through um beauty wall station is it going to cut through like the number two uh, King Albert Park or even maybe the green uh, nine which is the 6th Avenue you know which station will it cut through we do not know at this moment it's not announced yet okay but really this the subject of discussion here in this video is really not about where it's going to cut through because it doesn't matter because after cutting through any of those along downtown line all right it is going to converge okay at clementi road anyway all right why am i so uh, positive to say that uh, it is going to converge at clementi road okay now if you look at this whole map you realize one thing all right that f num the first point to note is that you know uh you notice this blue line right there uh, is um uh, is the downtown line and then a little bit below in this uh slide you'll notice that this is the east west line and it's if you're familiar with this location you know that you know the the main road that links between downtown line and east west line is really n no other roads except clementi road which is the main road right there okay um now the mrt station would most likely along this Clementi road, a main road. Why am I so confident? All right, why am I so confident to, to, to have that thought? Okay, why is it's all because of this, you know, a situation that uh, sometimes we do see happening, which is contingency plan, ladies and gentlemen, contingency plan, uh, contingency plan for the fact that in case something happens, there's a breakdown okay where the government needs to send in uh, charter buses to pick up you know to to basically disperse and uh, you know um, the the crowd that's gathering along the mrt station it needs to be a main road okay it cannot be the bottleneck of some small lane or some small roads or something you know it needs to have that uh flow uh the convenience of uh, dispatching buses over to uh, for, uh, to pick up passengers in terms of contingency uh, circumstances all right it has to be a main road okay so bearing this in mind you'll notice that you know the only logical choice okay from this deduction ladies and gentlemen is that this cross island line somehow is going to converge at clementi road along clementi road somewhere there is there could possibly i would say that there could be the next circle 9 mrt station okay it is possible all right but then again where could this station be all right now let's to answer that question okay let's take a look at um um um, at our discussion earlier on, which is Brookville Drive, you know, the, the new road that's being constructed uh, beside Clementi Road, right? Right there, as we were talking about this just now, okay? Now, interestingly, ladies and gentlemen, okay, um, a few months back, just a few months back, um, you know, some of, uh, there are some observations that were made around that area that's being circled uh, in red, 
okay there's some observations that were made okay uh, some infrastructure ladies and gentlemen that uh, of photographs being taken and recognize all this uh, familiar rigs around here okay familiar rigs around here ladies and gentlemen okay what is happening what is happening around here with these rigs why are they testing why are they testing the soil in this area okay ask yourself some of those questions ladies and gentlemen what could pos what could possibly be happening around this area a forested area by the way uh if that's if there's no plan in mind you know why are they testing out a forested region along clementi road okay i'm not going to give you the answer ladies and gentlemen but you know with signs like that with observations like that you can make your own judgment you can make your own conclusion okay so now let's assume and that this hypothesis that you know there is a there's going to be a circle nine station along clementi road around this area you know and if you were to use that location uh just now uh, which is just you know next to uh, this uh, new road uh, that's being built and you draw a circle of radius one kilometers right there okay and fit in into the schematic of all these regions that are being served by the different MRT stations existing MRT stations and this is what you see if you're the government official official you know does this look exactly just what could possibly that you have in mind all right it could be because you know all the circles are all aligned uh with no huge overlapping area and it seems to cover residents of the various regions pretty well okay so um well again um just hypothesis ladies and gentlemen but you know with this uh, observations you can draw your own conclusions okay now now this MRT wealth effect really is something that I like to just uh, quickly draw to attention all right um, you see whenever something is announced whenever the the MRT station is announced all right it's always very common to see that property prices rise or spike up even uh, to a certain big percentages okay so for example in downtown nine stories we have already experienced that we saw how property has spiked up how property prices have spiked up because simply because the government announced uh, where the stations are going to be all right so uh, i can i can show you a lot more examples as well you know this um um mrt wealth effect you know whenever the stations are announced immediately when you see the trend it all rise up rapidly all right so this is this is this has been proven ladies and gentlemen over the years you know when mrt stations are announced uh, especially so evident in the downtown line all right that it is logical for us to make the assumption that you know sometimes the money is made as an investment property before any sort of announcement but through intelligent uh, deduction of observation uh, by gathering data and information from bits and pieces all around the internet and the news and the government announcements you know sometimes we could foresee what is coming okay and from some of the information that i provided you today i hope i've given you enough uh, thrill and enough tension you know to focus on what is coming up here at uh, the key residences okay so um well i have got so many more slides in german which i i, I wouldn't be going through all of them okay uh what what i would suggest is this you know this is really um a, a, a project that has so much potential with it okay i'm going to show you one more slide really it's about the pricing okay let me see if i can draw down that slide right there ah this one okay 
uh, attractively priced in the vicinity new launch. Okay. Now on the left, uh, second left column, you see that uh, our key residences have broke fail. All right. At this moment, when I'm shooting this video, I'm just uh, maybe a couple of weeks away from the actual launch. Depending on when you're watching this video, the pricing could have already been announced. Maybe many units could have already been sold after the launch. But really, at this point in time, the guide price that we are given is around 1750 per square foot. Okay, this is a triple nine year leasehold property. This is not double nine, this is triple nine, which is very rare these days, uh, especially new launches. Okay, so if you compare this pricing with some of the existing projects in the vicinity, okay, you realize, ladies and gentlemen, that 1750 per square foot at key residences is very, very attractive. Okay, very, very attractive, considering the fact that, you know, no announcement has been made about the Cross Island Line Phase 2. We will know where the station is. You know, I've given you some information to trigger your thoughts a little bit. You know, imagine if our hypothesis is correct, you know, what could potentially be the price uh, in the next, uh, you know, uh, in the next near future when the actual announcement is made. All right. Am I 100% sure that it's going to be there? I'm not sure. I, I can't guarantee that this is going to happen but from bits and pieces of information that we have gathered you know there seems that there is a possibility that key residences could be a very viable uh, investment property for you as well as you know I have not even actually gone into the project attributes how livable the, the, the condo is you know the quality of finishings and so on so I've just got so much slides with me, so much information with me. I've already lined up uh, quite a few of my buyers for the preview that's coming up in the next couple of weeks. I would really like you, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video, especially if you're my clients, you know, to get in touch with me at 9697-1131. 9697-1131. Let's set a date. Let me go through some of the numbers, some of the... Uh, very exciting details that I wish I can share more with you. It would take me a couple of hours to do that if I had to do it right now. You know, uh, this is very useful information. Uh, the project attributes is just amazing. Okay, I'd like to share more with you. In fact, uh, because of the COVID situation right now, uh, um, all appointments, uh, all, all previews of the show flats or even viewing of the show flats is all by appointments only. All right, so get in touch with me at 9697. 1131 one. whatsapp me if i can answer your call in case i'm showing houses you know let's say let's set a date meet up at the show flat let me show you more let me sh let me show you more about this area the potential and let's examine this especially ladies and gentlemen if you are already in the market looking for a resale or a new launch all right so with that thank you very much uh, once again for tuning in to my videos I look very much to forward to meeting you very soon. Bye-bye.